I was enormously struck with the bearing of the men, and I'm sure I'll speak for my friend and colleague, the Chief of the Imperial General Staff, and also for Field Marshal Dill, who were enormously impressed with what we have seen this morning, of the uh, thoroughness and precision with which the whole formation of a great wartime army of the United States is proceeding. The parachute display was the most remarkable I've ever seen. And it's quite clear that that will play its increasing part in war. Our enemies have gained great successes by modern methods in the past. But uh, what I see here shows that in the long run, and if in the long run these things count, we shall be found not only to have profited by their methods and example, but to have turned their methods to even better account in a good cause. I could uh, see and I know from all that has been said to me, how earnestly desirous these fine troops are of being led against the enemy. And that is a matter which uh, ceaselessly engages the thoughts and studies of all who are responsible for the higher direction of this war. The day, the day will come. It will come when British and American armies march into countries not as invaders, but as liberators. And when from the soil will spring up in uh, passionate hope and uh, valiant effort the peoples who have been held down under a cruelest of barbarian yokes. What day may seem long to those whose period of training spreads out across the weeks and the months, but it is well worth working for and striving for, for when it comes, it will make amends for all, and that uh, in making amends for all, the power and effort and discipline that has to be undergone, it will also open the world to larger freedoms and broader securities for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as the grand words of the Declaration of Independence uh, phrase it. <laughs>